and I feel strong. The mindset that I have right now um, is gonna continue forever. I know now what makes me happy and what makes me healthy both physically and mentally and I plan to continue that for the rest of my life. Build balance, build fulfillment. Build your body, build your life. Bodybuilding.com. The main reason I build my body is to stay healthy. You have one life to live. I feel like fitness is just part of who I am. It's my anchor in life. It's what keeps me grounded. It helps me to stay disciplined. It helps me to stay driven. I also build my body for my people back home, my Samoan people, my Polynesians, the indigenous people. There's a lot of people dying young. There's a lot of people that don't know how to do fitness. You know, I see their struggle and I don't want my people to struggle. I want them to thrive. My people were athletes, but it's just the mentality that they're in and the norm back home of eating bad and not exercising and not being educated. For me, building my body is being that example so that they could see that there's someone just like them that's making a change. You know, anything is possible. This is a way to help save lives. Building my body now shows that I got the discipline and dedication to work towards a goal. And I want people to see that instead of just the body that I'm building. I want people to see that that guy works hard. That guy's disciplined. It's building your mind, it's building your character. I'm a lot more confident, I'm more self-disciplined, I'm self-motivated, and I get to be a role model to my people and to everyone around the world, you know, to live an active lifestyle. Build work ethic. Build inspiration. Build your body. Build your life. Bodybuilding.com I truly believe that everything we do in life is based on our health. And without our health, we're not able to be our best self, the person we can be to care for our family. <laughs> What's up, bodybuilding.com? My name is Cassie, this is Kelsey, and today, oh, are we still going, are we good? <laughs> He's holding his thumb up, I wasn't sure. Uh, Today we're going to be talking about pull-ups and really the focus today is for beginners or for people who really have struggle to even do a pull-up. We're going to show you some drills, some ways to make your back stronger so you can actually do pull-ups. A little bit of background on us. Um, I'm a competitive crossfitter and a competitive weightlifter. I have a couple certifications in USA weightlifting. Kelsey is an ex-D1 gymnast. What better person to teach you how to do a pull-up? than a gymnast. <laughs> she's great. Um, and uh, She's a pretty avid CrossFitter too. If we have time today, we can talk about the CrossFit pull-up, but, but we're not going to get there until we feel really confident uh, that you can do the drills that we're showing you before we talk about the kip. Um, follow us on Facebook, the YouTubes, and the Twitch if you want to switch places that you watch us. <laughs> Um, or you can stay where you are, totally cool. We're gonna be answering your comments. I have my phone. Derek behind the camera is gonna be, <laughs> he will be telling us uh, comments that you have too. If you have questions um, about pull-ups or really anything to do with bodybuilding or CrossFit or athletics in general. Stop on Twitch is digging your arms. Thank you. Uh, looking forward to the tutorial. Yes, <laughs> build arms. I picked her for a reason, <laughs> buff, buff girls unite. Um, basically, Kelsey and I try to wear a tank top every day mm. to work. Otherwise, people don't know, right? <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> yes, just flex. Um, okay, so you guys ready? Let's get started. We're gonna start with what we call a scap pull-up, and that's essentially to teach you how to activate your scap. 
which is your back muscle right here. A lot of us, when we go to, go ahead and jump up there, Kels. You don't have to hang on the bar, but you can jump up there. A lot of us, um, <laughs> your butt's like. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, a lot of us, when we go to do a pull-up, we don't even know what muscles to turn on. Um, and that's where I will say that bodybuilding is actually really helpful. Lat pull-downs, anything where you're rowing and you're actually concentrating on what muscles are doing the pulling, rather than just like using your body or using your arms. Doing really good bodybuilding where you pay attention to the muscle, that mind-muscle connection and you squeeze can actually really help you do pull-ups because you're learning what muscles are supposed to be doing the work. So, with that said, this is a scat pull-up and Kelsey's gonna show you, so we'll do a couple and then I'll tell you what she's doing here. She's gonna hang on the bar and all she's gonna do is she's gonna turn her, lat, her scap on and she's gonna pull up a little bit and then come down. It's really only an inch or two movement. Do about five of those. Two, three, four, Five. Good. And the neat thing about that is your back is actually it's like a really common, your shoulders and your back are actually a really complicated set of muscles. And just hanging from the bar and learning how to move your back up is actually an essential part of doing a pull up. That's where it starts. Um, a lot of people don't know that. So if Kelsey actually is going to go do an actual pull up, she's actually going to start by turning her scaps on, which will turn her lats on so she can pull. Okay? Um, a couple things to think about, there are different ways that you can teach yourself how to pull up on the bar. So Kelsey, her scat pull up, she's just really thinking about pulling up, right? She's uh, pulling her back up and squeezing her back muscles, that doesn't really make sense, squeezing her back muscles down to pull her body up. Another way you can think about doing pull ups, which will increase your range of motion and can actually bring the bar closer to your... Um, chest is to think more about pulling down on the bar, if that makes sense. When you want to show a scat pull up, but you're going to pull down a little bit. Yeah. So when you do this, you're going to come out. She's coming out from the bar a little bit. Does that make sense? Which is a different way to engage your back. I suggest you try and you think about doing both ways when you're doing pull ups, um, doing any of these drills to play around with how you're pulling to the bar. If you want to get good at muscle ups, if you want to get good at um, anything where you're, where you're going to pull your upper body up and above, like if you're dangling from a cliff face and you're hanging there and you're like, shit, I'm going to die, there's like sharks down there and you're like, how am I going get, to get from here to pulling my body up and over the cliff? That's getting really good at pulling down on something or pushing down on something so you can get your upper body higher. We have Raymond Batista on Twitch says hello. Raymond, hi, hi. Nice to meet you. Ranger who's followed us on Twitch. Thank you, XCC Ranger, for following us on Twitch. And You're awesome. We have a question. What's the difference between chin-ups and pull-ups? Good question. What is the difference between chin-ups and pull-ups? Um, chin-ups, to me, are using a reverse grip. So you want to demonstrate a chin-up. Kelsey's going to demonstrate a chin-up. Can you guys see her hands? Awesome. That's a chin-up. It's a beautiful chin-up. Chin-ups are great. Um, they actually use your biceps a little bit more, so you get a little bit more arm action going with a chin-up. A pull-up is just an overhand grip. She's going to do one of those. Beautiful. Awesome. Depending on your strengths, which one's easier to you? Um, this one. Me too. So, if you are a bro who likes to do lots of biceps curls and neglect your back, chances are the chin-up is going to be easier for you than the pull-up. Me and Kels have much bigger backs than we do biceps, so the pull-up's actually easier for us. Um, but that's not, you know, again, I suggest that you do both. Uh, pull-ups can actually be really good if you're into CrossFit, or I'm sorry, chin-ups can be good if you're into CrossFit um, and you're trying to get that muscle up, that ring muscle up. Doing um, chin-ups can help you figure out how to get that sort of motion here if you ever want to do that. So keep that in mind. Okay, hold on, I gotta check Facebook real quick. No one's, no one's commenting. Just making sure, we're good. Well, there is comments, but I don't think they say anything about pull-ups. They're in irrelevant. Okay, moving on. Drill number one, if you are, um, or uh, we're already done with these. So it's drill number one, scat pull-ups. All you need to do, jump up there, just do a couple more in case people are just starting. Scat pull-up, just again, you're gonna pull your scapula down your back, which is going to move your body up. Again, it's two or three, two or three inches of motion, don't go crazy. All right, hop down, we're gonna get this out of the way. Second thing we're going to do 
Uh, sorry. That's a question. Question. Hi. Um, yeah. For, this is from Raymond Batista on Twitch. Raymond, hi. Pull ups, thumb over the bar or whole hand gripping the bar? <sighs> That's a great question. So, um, Either way you want to do it. I am a monkey gripper, so I don't like to put my thumbs under the bar, but I have small hands. What do you like to do? Okay. Monkey grip. If you have bigger hands, this is really good. The key really is to make sure that you're not hanging from like the tips of your fingers when you're doing pull-up. The really good, I don't know, Derek, can you jump up? Can you get in on this? Okay. <laughs> it's really important that you have like a like your your I try to think about this part of my hand facing the ceiling. Not this part, not my knuckles. You want to get up on the bar. That's going to help you a lot. If you're hanging, you're going to, your grip's going to fail like long before, your, long before your back does. That makes sense. So whatever you're comfortable with, I mean, my coach at CrossFit would tell me, he's like, put your thumbs around the bar. And I'm like, well, I don't like to do that. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> my hands are too small. But I know lots of women and lots of guys that like to have it. So really, it's a preference thing. Try it, see what you think. It really depends on what kind of, what kind of human being you are. <laughs> and your hands. Another question from, uh, from YouTube. Uh, YouTube. Do, do you guys recommend doing pull-ups with versa grips or without? Okay. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> Don't use them. Why are you using them? Like, sure it hurts your hands. Again, if you're going to dangle from a cliff face, are you going to have your versa grips? No. You're just going to have your bare ass hands and they're going to have to just like be strong and do what they can do. Yeah. Kelsey agrees with me with everything I say. <laughs> Uh, if you really need some help, get a little chalk. Um, really just, you, you want your grip to be strong. I feel the same thing about deadlifts, unless you're like putting tons of weight on, like don't strap yourself to the part, like use your grip, that, like it's there for a reason. If you need help, do some strongman, like do some carries. Sorry, there's another question. Passionate about that. You got another follower on Twitch. Follower, thank you. Who is it? R-U-M-A-K. R-U-M-A-K, Rumak. Thank you for following us on Twitch. Okay, Kelsey, yes. we're gonna do, Oh. Right, this might be uneven. Okay, these are called Australian pull-ups or um, inverted inverted row. Thank you, Derek. These are great if you um, need to learn again how to do pull-ups, how to turn on your right back muscles. If it's so, Kelsey's going to start really by just putting her feet. No, like not even that. Just a little bit forward. Okay. Oh. You all right? Yeah. Yikes. Okay. Yeah. She's just going to practice, even in this position, turning on her arms and pulling herself forward. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So if you're really uncomfortable doing anything with your back and you don't even, like, turning this stuff on is really unfamiliar to you, I really suggest doing this. If this is absurdly easy, then you keep moving your feet forward. So Kyle's going to show a little bit. Yep, um, bend your legs, we'll just go. Yep, and then you're just gonna pull yourself there. And Kelsey's doing a really good job of not using any, so you can, you can take a break. She's not using any body English. She's pulling right to here. You don't wanna pull to your chin, because that's actually using more shoulder, more elbow than it is using your back. You wanna pull to your chest, like your nipple line or below it, pull here, and let yourself down. You can make these harder, so she can make it even harder if she comes all the way down, keeps her legs straight. Go ahead, pull. Yep. Do a couple more. Good job. Now, these are, yes, question. We have three more followers on Twitch. Thank you, three more followers on Twitch. Uh, MV. MV. Raptor V2. Raptor V2. And Tana. 101. Tana 101. Thank you guys for your follow. Appreciate it. Um, I'm going to check Facebook. Still nothing. Hope I'm doing this right. Yeah, it only says three comments. There you guys go. Um, oh. Hi. What should you do with your legs if the bar doesn't let you go full hang? I guess that's for pull ups. Uh, so, for pull -ups. so if the bar doesn't let you go full hang, I was told that you should hold your feet up in front of you as opposed to behind you. Okay. Is there really any difference? There is a difference. If you are holding your feet in front of you, that's much, that's, you're going to get much more core action out of it than here. Um, man, that's a really, it depends. Like every answer, every question you're ever going to ask me, the answer is always, it depends. Mm -hmm. 
depends on um, how many you want to do. Like if you really want to rip out 15 or whatever, put your legs behind you. If you put them in front of you, it's going to be a lot harder. You're not going to be able to do as many. Um, I suggest putting them in front of you just for the sheer sake of um, form, prettier for gymnastics. Um, and really, if you want whatever all over body conditioning or all over body strength, you want more core activation, put your feet in front of you. But like in general for like back building, really doesn't matter that much. We have three more followers on Twitch. Thank you, Twitch. Uh, Adelito. Adelito. Tone. Adelito. Moondang. Moondang. Oh. And Dan 999 Dan. Dan 999 Dan. Thanks for coming. Thanks for following. <laughs> okay. Um, next, the other thing you can do to make this even more difficult is to elevate your feet. So Kels is going to show us. Yeah, I'm sorry. I wasn't okay. sure. Okay. And that's actually going to make, good job, do like three more. Two, three. Good job. And depending how high you have your box, that actually puts your upper body maybe below your feet, if that makes sense, which makes it much more difficult to turn or to pull yourself to the bar. Question. Will you guys be giving any tips on muscle ups? Ah, maybe if we get there, we can get some muscle up tips. Um, that could be another video, another stream for another time. Um, if you can't do a pull up, I don't suggest that you do muscle ups. If you aren't, if you don't have your gymnastic kit figured out, I suggest you don't do muscle ups unless you're one of those guys that are like 120 soaking wet and like ultra strong, then you can probably just like pull yourself up. For the rest of us in the world that aren't as a Superman like, there's a couple things you need to work on before you do muscle ups. Another question. Three more followers. Three more followers. Uh, actually, so we got Evil Skull 86. Evil Skull 86. Broski. Broski. Yes. And Yaram C. Duty. Yaram C. Duty. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for following us. Um, I'm going to check Facebook. Sorry, Facebook. I'm. Facebook. No, there's nothing. Am I doing it? Like, is it right? Am I. It's probably not. Let me see the phone. Maybe it's not on. It's not on. Uh oh. It's all right. <laughs> we'll figure it out. I might be on the wrong thing. I would have gotten it Okay, I'll figure it out. Um. Questions about this at all? Uh, really? Uh oh. Am I missing a bunch? Okay, sorry. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, you guys. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> if you have questions about this, let me know. Really, the goal is to figure out how to use your lats um, and pull things this way to your chest, to your nipple line, right below it, instead of using your arms. And try not to. Like, hump the bar as you're trying to pull. That's not going to help you get stronger in your back. Any other questions? Okay. Um, another thing you can play with when you're doing these is, your, is the different grips. So Kelsey's going to show us. So she was doing just like regular, you can call it a neutral grip. Um, you can't necessarily do a true neutral grip on a bar. But if you have, there might be those um, a pull up bar in your gym that has like the little doohickeys that hang this way so you can hold this way. This is probably the easiest way to get a pull up if you have a true neutral grip. Um, the wider you go, the more difficult it is. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Now we're getting stuff. Great for beginners. Pull ups. How high are you pulling up? Eye level, shoulder letter, chin. Okay. This is a great question by Ronald Fisher. In pull ups, how high are you pulling up? eye level, shoulder, or chin to get full range of motion. Um, I say at least, this is just the CrossFit part of me, get your chin above the bar. If you can get your chest all the way to the bar, to the bar do it. That's, that's only going to help you. That's only going to engage more muscles. It's only going to make you stronger. The higher you can pull, do it. Um, the little wussy like bodybuilder stuff that happens that I see a lot is like these little like half guys. Like this is not a pull up. This is doing nothing. If you can, if you can get yourself to pull all the way up and all the way down, do it. Um, full range of motion is always best, in my opinion. Um, you can argue about whatever the width of the lats. Do a real pull up, do it properly. Hanging from a cliff face, what's going to help you? Derek. Three more followers on Twitch. Three more followers on Twitch. Heisenberger 23. Heisenberger 23. 
King Silly 21. King Silly 21. King Silly. King Silly. King Silly. <laughs> uh, Blasphemy 666. Blasphemy 666 is a good name, brother. <laughs> Welcome. Can you give him a flex? Let's get a flex every follower. Flex every follower. Okay. Um, Gabriel Golden, I am 5'8", 210, and about 18% body fat. Fairly strong, but I can't do more than 10 pull-ups. What else can I do after I can no longer pull myself to continue to hit the same muscles? Okay, um, this is a great thing. We're gonna talk about that. You can do jump pull-ups, you can do pull-ups with a band, you can just do really lat pull-downs. Um, or if you can only do 10 strict muscle-ups, like break up your sets, do five sets of two, do five sets of three, see if you can sneak in an, a couple extra. Um, one set of 10 is great, and if you just keep moving along in that direction, like each week try to add, do that. Um, you can also do negatives. We're gonna go over that. Negatives are great, where you jump up and you let yourself down. Um, those are really, really difficult and be really, really helpful for you. Um, but good job of being able to do two, that's really hard. 10. 10. <laughs> job on doing 10. <laughs> Sorry, Derek. Two more followers on Twitch. Two more followers on Twitch. Ooh. Flex. 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 Say <laughs> X I A D R F. Okay. Zyaderf. Hi. Zyaderf. And Monty Fit. Oh, Monty yeah. Fit. Thanks for coming. Flexies. Okay. <laughs> um, Eric the Red on Facebook says, I have problems activating my lats on pull downs and pull ups. They never get sore, no matter the frequency or the movement. Any advice? Okay. Uh, there's a sort of bro fallacy in the world that if like you only are growing or doing good things to your muscles if you get sore. And that is like not true. Um, I, I, I really don't know what to tell you. If you're, if you're doing the amount of pull-ups that you need to, um, then that's awesome. It sounds to me maybe if you're, maybe you're not challenging yourself enough, you're not, doing, you're not going till failure on any of your movements. Um, I don't know, really, I haven't watched you work out. Um, weighted pull-ups, pull that's a great idea. Add some weight, put a little dumbbell between your feet, put a vest on, those, one of those like hangy things where the weight's down here, <laughs> use that. <laughs> you know what I'm talking belt, about. Belt it's a belt thing. weight thing. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, try that, good call. Yeah. We have two more followers on Twitch. Woo! Ninja7144, and that fire guy. That fire Hi. guy. What's up? Thank you guys so much for all the um, uh, proper thumb. Sorry. Thank you so much for all your questions. You guys are doing great. Um, Jay Jordan on Facebook, proper thumb placement. We kind of talked about that before. Honestly, Kelsey and I both monkey grip because we have small hands. If you're um, a man with man hands, you can put it, put, it, put it in front of the bar if you want. Honestly, to me, it doesn't matter. What matters most is that you're getting more of your hand up and over the bar. You're not just hanging from your fingertips. Uh, Get up. Does close grip give you better bicep? Ball? Yeah, well, close grip, reverse grip does. More biceps with your reverse grip. Closer, to me, the closer, unless you're here, the closer your, your hands are, the easier the pull up, the wider it gets, the more difficult. Um, Kels is gonna show us some of these um, rows, inverted rows. I can't do wide pull-ups, Daria. That's okay, you don't have to do them. Just do whatever you can do. So she's gonna do this movement with a wide grip. And this is going to be much more challenging because that's, um, you're actually sort of negating your arm use really in this. It's gonna be more back. Good job, do a couple more, Kels. Good job. Okay. So do those, that'll help actually teach you how to use just your back, because really it's difficult to use your biceps from that position. Um, she can also do, you can also do these with a the reverse grip that she's gonna show us. We have four more followers on Twitch. Yay! Uh, Mad Bilal. Boom. Mad what? Bilal. Mad Bilal, also a good uh, name. We'll just call this one Mad Lump. Lump. <laughs> uh, alien Kid. Alien Kid, double flex. And Awestruck. Awestruck, boom. Thanks for following Twitchers. Close, uh, reverse, yeah, reverse grip on these two. Yep. Good job. Good. So these are reverse grip. Um, think about as you guys are doing these that you're not. Um, yes, Philip Schluter, you're right. Thumbs around the bar uses more forearms. If you want to do pull-ups to work your forearms, 
Go for it. That's, that's a really good call. Um, Amir, I can't do any pull-ups. That's exactly what this stream is about, to help you do drills so you can get pull-ups, which is awesome. Um, Australian pull-ups with palms inside, is that effective? Yes, it's a drill to help you get better at pull-ups. It's a, it's a way to help you build strength. So that's what we're doing. Um, as you're doing these, um, be, be careful that you're not too far that you're here. Would you um, mm -hmm. walk your hands, like walk your feet way too far forward? If you're here and you're pulling, you're gonna end up pulling just mostly, yeah, that's awkward. It's awkward for your shoulders, it's awkward for your elbows. So come back in. You want the bar to line up right with your, about like under where your sports bra would be, um, right under your chest if you're a dude. Um, nipple line or below, I would say. If you're up by your collarbone, it's not gonna be good for your shoulders or your elbows or anything like that. Okay, are we, um, congrats, Anna. Finally got four pull-ups, but they are palms in grip. I cannot do neutral, that's fine. Do, you know what, just keep working on it. Keep doing, keep playing with that grip, good job. How do I get from, Anna asked, how do I get from in facing grip to forward grip? Just keep practicing, um, really just keep working on your drills, do those negatives, we'll get to that. Just keep working on it. Um, if you can't do a pull up like this and you can only do it like this, do as many as you can and then maybe throw in one at the very beginning before you get tired, see what happens. Okay, we're gonna be done with this. Hi India. Okay. Um, now we're going to do banded pull-ups. So I know there's a lot of stuff about these and I totally get it. Um, I'm not a huge fan of banded pull-ups, but really if, if you need the help and you have no other option, if you have these available, like why not? It might not help you in the exact right place on the pull, um, but it's gonna take some poundage off your body, which is really what the pull-up is, it's an anti-gravity movement. And um, it takes a lot of strength and it's really difficult, especially for women to do. So if you, if you have one of these in your gym or you can buy one, check on Amazon. Um, and I would suggest starting with one that's like 30 pounds. Take 30 pounds off your body. It's really no different from the pull-up machine. And I know people are super anti-pull-up machine. I don't love them either. Um, this is a long discussion about bands. <laughs> use them if you want to. If you don't like them, don't use them. But here we go. We're gonna, we're gonna use them. Kelsey's gonna use them. Yeah, you are. Is that I get that. Wow, is that even going to be enough? Okay. Whew. A pinched nerve in my... Michael asked, I have a pinched nerve in my back with moderate pain. Do you recommend me to still train with weights or see a doctor? Uh, pinched nerve, don't do anything. If it hurts, don't... Yeah, see a doctor. What? Uh, we had a follow from... Follow. 360 wrist boy. 360 wrist boy, flex. Um, David Lopez, if you're a bigger guy, with, will pull-ups cause strain on your shoulders? Uh, not if you're doing them properly. Um, I mean, they will be hard. You're gonna use your shoulders. If they're straining your shoulders now, it sounds, sounds like maybe you have another issue maybe going on with your shoulders. Pull-ups in themselves are not inherently dangerous or, or injurious. Um, just make sure that you're using your back to do the pulling and you're not using your shoulder and you're not doing any like crazy stuff. So question from 360 Wrist Boy. Question from 360 Wrist uh, Boy. For your speed, hold on. Uh, what speed do you recommend, i.e. three seconds down, one second up? Uh, that's, yeah. that's a really, that's, your tempo is totally up to you. Um, that's a great question. And I have holding my phone upside down. Um, if you can slow, if you can do that three in one, like do it, that's hard. Um, I probably can't do that. Um, whatever's most challenging, switch it up, I would say. Um, do one and one, do one and two, do two and one. Uh, totally up to you. Um, but yes, it's totally effective and great. So good job being able to do that. Okay, band pull ups. How do I build my muscle on my wings? <laughs> on your lats? Um, I would say, you know, heavy weight um, pull ups are great, lat pull downs are great, rows are great. Any pulling movement that you're actually paying attention to using your lats, that's going to build that width. Um, Maybe wider, grip. wider grip stuff for sure. We'll do that. Um, yeah, I just keep working at it. I mean, building muscle, particularly in your back, takes a whole, takes a long, long, long time. Um, keep with it and do those back exercises. You know you're supposed to do them. Don't just do your 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 bench press, bro. You gotta you gotta hit your back. Derek. So Sylvia from YouTube asks, would you suggest doing or practicing pull-ups at the beginning? back work out or if so do you 
do you have any lab activation exercises first? Um, that's, that's a great question. And I would say if pull-ups are like deathly hard for you, then yes, do them at the beginning. In general, training advice, I'd say your most difficult movements, get them over at the beginning when you have the most energy and you have the most strength. Um, lat activation exercises, like do some light lat pull-downs, do some um, light rowing. You can do those scat pull-ups. You can do show a couple more scat pull-ups that Kels was doing. Again, hang, you're just gonna pull up a couple inches. Get, turn these on, get your scap to pull down in your body, that'll help. And that's a lot of that position, um, people forget that when you're doing pulls, you wanna come, you need to contract your back down. And that's really hard for people to know how to do. And again, that's why I think as a CrossFitter, body, bodybuilding can be really effective in teaching people which movements or which muscles are doing what in what movement, because that's really, really important. Okay, now here we go for band of, can you get up there? They're doing me. Yeah, do whatever you want. I think I'll try a knee. Do the knee, okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, oh, got it. Re okay, so I'll get to your questions in a second. So Kelsey's gonna do some pull-ups with the band. One. So see how she's getting her chin above the bar? She's pulling her scaps down. Her lats are on. This is another reason why I picked Kelsey, because she has good musculature in her back, so you can see, you can see the muscles moving. We have uh, three new followers on Twitch. Three uh, new followers. Angel. Angel, flex for uh, you. The Additive Alex. The Additive Alex, flex and for you. Devin. Devin. Rabbitap. Devin Rabbitap, double flex for you. <laughs> Thanks for coming to Twitch, guys. Um, Bodybuilding.com says go, Kels. <laughs> um, uh, if they're looking for free training programs, they can type exclamation point programs into the chat and they can get access. If to you're on programs. Twitch and you're looking for free training programs, all you need to do is hit exclam exclamation point programs. programs and they'll pop up for you. They'll give you, a link, to go. They'll give you a link to go. They won't pop up. They'll give you a link. <laughs> I'm new at Twitch. Um, Richard asks, is it recommended to do pull-ups with old shoulder injuries like dislocated shoulders? Will your weight affect your shoulder injuries while doing push-ups? It depends if you rehabbed your shoulder properly, then it might be fine. If it still hurts, don't do it. Ask your doctor, <laughs> physical therapist. Um, best exercise for thickness, for side view, for your back, Kilby. Uh, really, to me, I mean, pull-ups, you can't get much better than a pull-up, um, especially if you're, if you're a woman. But again, any exercise, like really anything that you could, that, that your muscles have to use resistance or you use resistance for that muscle to like be bad at and it has to man, man hypertrophy works essentially because you're giving your muscles something that they have to grow in order to do more of if that makes sense so if you're constantly this is really complicated it doesn't matter do back exercises do them heavy and do them frequently a lot of times Americans in general really like to do this, the pressing exercises. Everything we do is for it all the time. Back exercises help you come up, bring your chest up. Anything that you do in the back really is gonna help you look thicker. Uh, thanks for your tips. How do you get a six pack? <laughs> you have a six pack, it's already there, it's your diet. If you're gonna just eat McDonald's and donuts every day and overeat your calories, you're never gonna see your six pack. Six packs come really essentially from your diet. Um, there's lots of advice on dieting for your six pack on bodybuilding.com. There's billions of articles about it. Um, I would go there to check it out if you want a, a good. Point nutrition. If you're on, tw they're on Facebook. If they're on, go to Twitch. Go to Twitch, <laughs> type exclamation point nutrition and then you'll get a link to nutrition articles. But, but really a six pack is not from crunches. It's not from doing V-sits, it's not from doing ab exercise, it's really from your diet. Your six pack's already there, it's just hidden. Whew. How can you build whatever muscles to get you into the first couple inches into the pull-up? Again, those scap pull-ups will be great. Any of these drills, I would say um, negatives, which will work on even jump pull-ups. Um, really, if, you're, if you are, if it's even hard for you to hang on the bar, practice hanging on the bar and then seeing what you can do to pull yourself in any direction. Like that's. For a lot of women, even having upper body strength to hang on is really hard. Okay, sweet. Thank you guys for questions. Um, questions on the banded pull-up. So this band is pretty heavy. Um, we're gonna have Kelsey use 
a lighter band, which this is probably only gonna give her about 10 pounds. She can do pull-ups by herself anyway, but that doesn't matter. So a lighter, a lighter band will be um, much more difficult. Follow on Twitch, Bo's 2K. Bo's 2K, 2K, flex for you. Thank you for following. Okay, um, I'm Melissa Lee. I'm a female who's been lifting heavy, heavy for many years. I can row four by 10 at 45 and pull down 120 for 410, but I can't do a pull up. Why, I'm 5'5", 150. Um, again, just keep, we'll do these drills that we're showing you what to do. It's probably just a matter of practice. If you have been scared to do them or if you only try them every once in a while and you don't actually program pull-ups and pull-up drills into your programming, it doesn't necessarily surprise me that you can't do them. Um, but you are very strong, that's awesome. Uh, I would just say keep at it, do some of these things, um, and then look at, again on bodybuilding, how do I do a pull-up, I think, or Google, how do I do a pull-up, and bodybuilding.com shows up, and read some, some articles with these same drills that we're working on here. So another banded pull-up, got it, good. Just pulling all the way to her chin, a couple more, good job, good job, all right. So these are lighter, lighter bands. Um, if you're stronger and you really only need uh, like 10 pounds of help, I would do this. Um, if you're really, really close to doing them, I would try not to do a band at all. We're gonna do a centric pull-up. Um, actually, let's do jumping first. Actually, you're gonna like this follower. Yeah, Asian Hulk. Asian Hulk, yes! <laughs> follower, flex for you, double flex for you, Asian Hulk. Um, Andrew, best chest workouts to build chest muscle and your pecs. <laughs> okay, so from a bodybuilding perspective, I would say like you don't need to do bench press. Bench press is more of a strength exercise. If you're gonna do stuff for, to build your pecs, um, dumbbell, flies, presses, just flex. the, um, what? Just flex them, <laughs> uh, just, just stand there, flex your pecs. Um, <laughs> the like cable things. Um, and really just consistency, guys. Like. It, if you work out once a week and then you don't do anything for the rest of the week and you are like, why don't my chest bigger? If you just take like one drink of protein in a month, and you're like, why aren't I huge? You have to put in the hours in the gym if you want your body to grow. It's just like, that's all that can, that's all that happens. Yes. New follower, uh, squat, nil, muscle. New follower, oh, yeah. squat, 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 nil, swap, nil muscle. muscle. Welcome, flex for you. Okay, <laughs> so Kelsey's gonna do jumping pull-ups. Um, these are great if for, especially if you really want to work on those first couple inches. These actually will tire you out more than you think, so you can give yourself a little help, and you're going to pull yourself up. She's still turning on, you can see her back, she's still turning on her back, she's still turning on her lats. Really all this is giving her is a little fight against gravity, same, same with these bands. You're just using your body to give yourself a little bit of up against gravity so you can do a pull up. Um, if you have, so a lot of programs, a lot of free programs will program something like three sets of 10 pull-ups. And for women, that's like impossible. Um, jumping pull-ups are a great solution because you can still have that volume without destroying yourself or having to use a machine or having to use a band. I think um, jumping pull-ups are great, especially for beginners. Um, Mersaline Baba, I have been working out for more than six months now and I'm actually seeing improvements in my body, but for some reason I can't lose Use, wow, lose my belly fat even though I take care of my diet. Any suggestions? Be patient, man. If your diet truly is on point, then it's just going to take some time. I, again, if you're watching, I, that's pretty complicated. It's probably, I'm guessing that you're still probably eating too much, um, but that's impossible for me to say if you have, if, like, I don't have your, I don't know what your workouts are like. Um, I would, if you really, really, it's like it's really bothering you, try asking a personal trainer, um, read more articles, ask a nutritionist, add um, some add some cardio. I mean, really do, if you want slow, sustained weight loss, I don't suggest that you go crazy hardcore. That belly fat's gonna go away as long as you stay consistent. It might take years, mm -hmm. um, unless you wanna go crazy. Two followers. Two followers on Twitch. Camilla Suzuki. Camilla Suzuki, flex for you. And O.D. John. O.D. John, flex for you. Okay, um, do you have any schedule I can watch on time? Um, I think you can rewatch this if you want after it's live, so you can come back anytime on YouTube or Facebook or Twitch. Like you in general, or me in general. 
every once in a while, like a week. Yeah. Every couple of weeks, probably. Every couple of weeks, I'll be back. We do do workouts every Friday mm -hmm. and Thursday. You said do do. <laughs> we do do workouts here every Thursday and Friday on Twitch. Twitch. And then also YouTube and Facebook. And YouTube on Facebook and Facebook. So Thursday, Friday, yeah. come back for more help. Um, Jason, great tutorials. Pull-ups can be a challenge for anyone, and I don't mean diapers. <laughs> Pull-ups. Oh, got it. Not the diapers. <laughs> um, is sauna recommended to lose extra fat or just water weight? That's just water weight. Um, don't, yeah, don't use a sauna to lose your weight. It's not gonna eat. Eating is the thing that matters most. Okay, um, we're gonna do eccentric pull-ups, kind of let downs, I guess Lower you would say. Downs. Lower downs. <laughs> so these are really, really, really great. This is like my go-to if anyone needs help with their pull-ups is always what I recommend. Kelsey's gonna jump up so her chin's over the bar. Then she's gonna send as slow as possible. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good job. Now, for a lot of you that's gonna be impossible and you're gonna jump up and be like, <laughs> and that's okay. <laughs> um, if you can jump up and hang on for one second, do that. If you can jump up and let lower yourself down in two seconds, that's great too. The point is, is that you're using your back muscles to control your descent. And that will help you build the strength you need to pull yourself up eventually. So let's do one more of those, Kels. Um, if you can do six second descent, That's great. And it's even challenging for Kelsey, she's shaking. This is not an easy drill, even if you're like a pull-up master. Really do like 12 of these and you'll have a hard time. Question. Four followers on Twitch. Four followers on Twitch. Uh, do Pro Zodius 513. Do Pro Zodius 513. A boy named Casper. A boy named Casper, flex for you. Uh, Raul Viper. Raul Viper, flex for you. And Zen Monk 96. Zen Monk 96, flex for you. Hello. Um, Aristotle says, I want to get some abs. This is a, abs are cool. You're not going to see them unless your nutrition is, is good to go. Um, you can do all the crunches you want in the world. If, you are not, if you're eating too many calories, those abs will be hidden by fat. So eat well. OK. Um, Questions more about these eccentric pull-ups. As you do these, you can play with your grip. You can do eccentric pull-ups with um, your reverse grip. You can do it with your, with your neutral grip. You can do them wide. I suggest that you play around with all of them. Um, even if you have just those like weird bars that like sort of like angle themselves, that still works. Grab a box, grab a buddy. If you need help um, having someone lift you up or whatever, do that. That's another thing you can do is grab a buddy. Instead of using a box or a band or a jump, if you have a pull-up or a partner here, hang. I'll show you how to do it. Well, it's not hard. So if Kelsey's going to, can you jump? OK, here you can help me. So I'm going to be up here, and Kelsey's going to hold my feet, and she's just going to be that 10 pounds I need to do some pull-ups. She's just going to take some of the poundage off. OK. Uh, we have a question from Twitch and a follow. Uh, question follow Twitch. Kind of troll name. Awesome. Uh, that's Hot Carl. That's Hot Carl. <laughs> hey, Sorry. welcome, Flex for you. <laughs> um, the question is, can you get stronger without getting bigger? Uh, yes. Um, I mean, technically, strength is a neuromuscular device. Um, there are a lot of really, really strong people that aren't huge. Um, there is, I mean, mass moves mass. There's definitely that aspect to it. But yeah, if you're working purely on strength movements, um, you will get stronger. Um, doing that without having your muscles grow too, probably not gonna happen, but you're not gonna get giant. Was that a lady who asked that? Yeah. Because I feel like people always ask, oh, well, if I do weights, am I gonna get huge? Yeah. And it's like, it's different. It's different. <laughs> um, getting strong is a different mechanism than getting big. Um, they do work together, but it's not the same thing. Uh, if you, so if you're gonna, if you're trying to be a power lifter and you wanna get really good at doing um, a deadlift, a squat, and a bench press, it doesn't necessarily mean you, you're gonna put on 50 pounds because you're just 
doing those lifts. A lot of people put on weight when they do those lifts because there's less cardio involved um, and they just eat more. Um, Two followers on Twitch. Hi. Check meated. Check meated. And Tammy. Tammy, what up? <laughs> um, and then for hypertrophy gains, that's that's this bodybuilding world that you're sort of doing sets and reps of, you know, three to four, 12 to 15. You can go a little heavier and do fewer reps. Um, the point really is to make sure that every day you're you're really almost reaching failure. Uh, if you want your muscles to grow, you're gonna have to give them a reason to grow. And if you're just sort of like wussing out and doing your biceps curls, I see women do this all the time, like those little eight pound weights, not doing anything. Um, your muscles have to be challenged in order to in order to grow. All right, so that getting stronger without getting bigger was from a fighter trying to make weight. Oh, a fighter oh, trying to make weight. Yeah. Um, I think that's diet. Yeah, that's going to be mostly your diet. Then, then that's hard to do. I, I don't know, like strong in what sense that means for fighting, uh, like your pull strength, um, your hitting. Strength. Know, that's a really good question. I think that's it's absolutely possible. And I wouldn't necessarily, if you're trying, if you're just training for strength, I wouldn't necessarily worry about putting on so much muscle. You're not going to make weight. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah, yeah. So a question from Juan on YouTube. Question from Juan on YouTube. If your nutrition is very clean. How long until you start seeing? Man, that depends entirely on uh, how clean your diet is, um, how long you're gonna, how many, like if you're being clean consistently, truly, seven days a week. You could be clean and eat too much. That's exactly right. If you have too many calories in your diet, it doesn't matter what you're eating. It could be pure protein shakes, it could be pure cake. If you're eating too many calories, you're gonna not lose the fat that you wanna lose. So. Um, clean is one thing, calorically on point is another. Um, again, I would use, I, I think there's this question on Facebook too. Um, you mentioned a lot about eating. How do I calculate my recommended calorie intake for fat loss and our protein intake goal? So what you do is you go to, um, you look up a TDEE calculator. We have them on bodybuilding.com and you look up your ta do ta total daily energy expenditure and that's how much um, weight, or I'm sorry, how much energy or calories you burn all throughout the day. And then you pick, so usually that calculator say, do you want to lose weight, gain weight, stay the same. If you want to lose weight, generally for, for women, you would take about 20% off that TDEE calculation, and that's the calories you want to eat. If you're hitting, if you want to look at particular macros, we also have a macro calculator on bodybuilding.com. Look that up, and that'll take those calories, and then it'll put them into nice grams of protein, fat, and carbs that you can aim for every day. Nutrition, if you really want to get down to it, like it's pretty scientific, once you have it figured out and once you practice eating well, um, it'll get less and less difficult. Really, the, the most important thing to me and what I've seen work um, best is that as long as your calories are on point, that you're eating about 20% less than you have been, um, that'll continue to work. Three followers on Twitch. Three followers on Twitch. Gamer till death. Gamer till death. I can't, I can't relate, but congratulations. Camera guy can. Camera guy can. Uh, Oda Sharu. Oda Sharu. Flex for and you. Nishti. 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 Flex for you. Welcome. Um, uh, Andrew says, I'm trying to build physique instead of bulking up huge. Should I train heavy or train light with more reps? How do I follow you on Facebook? Um, you can follow me on Instagram, cassie.a.smith. That's generally baby pictures and training pictures. Kelsey is K Sido. Yep. You, don't have to. you don't have to no. if you want to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah sorry. No, it's K Sido. <laughs> follow her too. Um, uh, let's see. A boy named Cass. Oh, sorry. A boy named Cass. Asked. Casper asked. Casper asked. If this mask gamer has been sitting in a corner for a year, is it still good to eat? No. Check the expiration date, bro, but nah. Shh, get some more. Get some more. Um, so, Andrew, should I train heavy or train light with more reps? Honestly, <laughs> you're, like I said before, even if you want to gain mass, like, lightweight isn't going to do anything. Again, your muscles have to be challenged in order to grow. If you're just, like, doing air squats and, like, air reps with eight pounds on your biceps curl, you're not gonna get big. Um, sorry. So yeah, uh, pick a program, look for programs, bodybuilding.com is a bunch of them um, that will, if you're on Twitch too, exclamation point programs, it'll send you a link. Um, thank you, Derek. 
<laughs> um, really, you have to lift heavy enough that it's challenging. So that's like number one, I, I mean, advice I would say is, I mean, yes, both, and yes, neither, or no, neither. Uh, lift heavy enough that it's challenging for you, and that you're getting enough volume. Dimitri says hello from Russia. Hello, Dimitri. Is it Dimitri Klokov? <laughs> Probably not. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> Do you guys know him? <laughs> He's my idol. Okay. Uh, since I lift, since I lift heavier, my waist has become thicker due to core stabilizing function. Any tips to avoid that while keeping up my weight? Um, girl, own that thick waist, man. Uh, unless you're trying to get on stage and you're trying to be a figure competitor, like, who cares how thick your waist is? It's probably not as thick as you think. Um, and it really depends on what lifts you're doing. Again, that like V taper look is really gonna be from your shoulders getting big and your lats being big, and that's gonna make your waist look smaller. Mm -hmm. So if you want your waist to look smaller, I would say work on them delts, uh, those rear delts in particular, and then your, their, your lats, and you'll look, you'll get that like V taper look. Yeah. Whew, I'm talking a lot. You guys are asking really good questions, thank you. Um, okay, we're good for now. So, we covered today, we have a, hi. <laughs> we got the Australian pull-up, or the inverted row. Why do they call it Australian pull-up? It's because you're down, down under? Down under. Down under the down bar. Down under the bar. Okay. <laughs> um, um, <laughs> the dingo ate your baby. <laughs> Seinfeld, do you guys know you're kind of probably too young for Seinfeld. Um, Inverted rows are great for building that lat strength, for understanding how to pull. Again, I can't, I can't say this enough. Learning how to pull with your back instead of your biceps is like number one most important thing. Um, we also talked about jumping pull-ups. Grab a box, jump up, especially if your program tells you to do three by 15 pull-ups, jump up into them. Or cut the reps and do those, um, do the lowering, you know, the slow lower. Jump yourself up, one, two, three, as far as, like as slow as you can down, that is gonna help. Um, there's a woman here, Candace, I think, like totally, that's what she did, so she couldn't do, she could only do like one or two, just did eccentric, and now she can do 10, like easy. Really, it takes a, really a full, full year, but if pull-ups is your goal, you have to program pull-up programming into your program, if that makes sense. <laughs> you have to train your pull-ups. Am I getting I troll comments? Oh, there's a funny thing. Okay. <laughs> that's hot, Carl. That's hot, Carl. Um, he just says, I'm asking. So. Thanks, bro. Um, congrats. From Congratulations. Seinfeld. From Seinfeld. Got it. Okay. Yeah. I also feel like pull-ups are one of those things you have to like keep doing. You can't just do them, get good at them, stop doing them, and expect to still stay good. At Agreed. Them. Did you guys hear that? Probably not. Mm -hmm. Kelsey said so wisely, pull-ups are one of those things that you can't just stop doing. It's not like a skill that you have. It's not like once you get it, and then you'll just have it forever. It's something you really have to keep at and keep practicing. And what's really cool about it is that you, they just, there's really nowhere for them to go but up. Like if you just keep working them, if you keep doing your drills, and keep practicing, keep doing more and more reps, you're just going to be able to do more and more and more, which is great. Uh, new follow on Twitch, Nate Big Doom. Nate oh. Big Doom. Doom. I remember that game. <laughs> um, Kelsey Sanders says, tell the camera guy, hey, for me. <laughs> That's his wife. That's adorbs. <laughs> um, OK, Maria says, I've been doing negatives for months and got better at negatives, but it's impossible for me to initiate the movement from a dead hang. Going up those first few inches, I just can't do it. Totally, that's, that's probably because, again, you're probably not turning on your back the way you need to. I would do those scat pull-ups and see how it goes. And really, if you can, come up. Um, do those scat pull-ups and then come down. And if this is really too hard for you, then um, switch up from the negatives. Grab a band, um, do those, uh, do the Australian pull-ups. Um, it, it sounds like you're just, I, I bet you you probably have the strength to do it if you can do negatives and you can do a lot of them and you can do them slowly. It's probably just learning to engage this muscle at the outset. And that's just gonna be your brain. It probably has nothing to do with your muscles, but like your brain telling your back to do what it needs to do. Um, but keep at it. I mean, that's, it's hard, but good job for keeping going with your negatives. That's awesome. New follow. New Fitted follow. Rider. Fitted rider. <laughs> Thank you from Twitch. Um, what else did we talk about today? So do we, 
Question. Uh, I have bad flexibility, which affects my form and squat and deadlift. Should I still be doing them on a frequent basis? Yes. Um, like mobility in your back and hips. Or, okay, hold on. Uh, should I be pushing to increase the weights or should I stop and focus on improving flexibility? Okay, so the question is, I have really bad mobility in my squats and deadlifts. Should I still, should I do them and push the weights or should I stop and focus on mobility? Uh, that's a great question and I would say yes to both. Depends. Depends. <laughs> um, if it is painful and you are in your, like if it's hurting you to do a squat and a deadlift because your mobility is bad, then yes, stop doing it. Don't, if it hurts, don't do it. There's no reason to get injured unless you're like trying to get on the platform at Worlds, Raw Nationals, like why you're trying to hurt yourself doing a deadlift, it doesn't matter. Um, that being said, you need to, in order for that movement to get better, you have to practice that movement pattern, right? So um, I would say if you're, I'm not sure where you're immobile, it's, I'm, I'm guessing your hips um, and your, and your, this region. Um, if this is the problem, and you, I imagine that you're getting the tuck under in your squat. Um, do mobility drills by Romwad. This, that's an excellent, excellent program. Um, it's CrossFitty, but it doesn't matter. Do yoga. Um, warm up well. Do your stretches before you hit, and, and, and then do the movement, and do them till, if you're doing your squat, do that until your butt starts to wink, and then just come back up. Um, if, again, the point of training really is, is your goal. So if your goal is not to be a national level <laughs> power lifter, then stop worrying about the weights and start worrying about how your training is affecting your longevity and like your fitness and how you're going to feel for the rest of your life. That's what I, that's what the advice I would give. So what's your goal? Is your training meeting that goal? Is your training going to help you live a longer, happier, healthier life? And, and, and you're worried about like how much you can deadlift more than you're worried about the longevity and happiness and health of your life, then maybe your priorities need to be switched. And yeah. <laughs> um, okay, we're so, so, so good. Um, what time is it? Do we need to stop or are we still good? <laughs> we could talk about the CrossFit pull-up if you guys want. Um, I was saving this to the end. Let's do it. We'll do a CrossFit pull-up and then we'll do like a uh, speed round Q&A. So they can ask whatever, and you guys can just like, one, one, like one word answers. One word answers, okay. So tell them to try to think of some questions for a speed round Q&A at the very end. Okay, so we're going to talk about the CrossFit pull-up, and then after that, we're going to do a speed round Q&A. So that means think of your questions now, and then Kelsey and I will answer them um, like with, the first, with one, one word answers as quick as we can. It could be anything. It could be anything. Almost. Yikes. Almost anything. <laughs> Keep it like PG-13. Yikes. Yeah. So the CrossFit pull-up, the one that everybody freaks out about, is generally the butterfly pull-up and the kipping pull-up. And that's using the gymnastics kip, which is a real thing. Mm -hmm. D1 gymnast says the kip is a real movement <laughs> to help propel your body upwards. Now, CrossFit, the sport of CrossFit, is that you need to do a certain number of reps in a certain amount of time or you're trying to do the, as many reps as possible in a certain amount of time. Which means strict pull-up isn't always the best choice for that sport because you don't get as many reps in. That's where the kipping and butterfly pull-up comes in. If you cannot do a single pull-up, I do not suggest you try this. If you want to try it, I suggest that you learn how to kip first, which is a difficult thing for people to figure out before you even try doing a pull-up. Kelsey, will you show us how to kip, please? Just a regular kip. Regular old kip. Oh, okay. Beautiful. Okay. Kelsey's keeping her body really tight. She goes hollow and then she arches. And being able to keep your body in this position, that's actually, that's an important position to stay in. She's tight, her shoulders are not out of whack. She's completely in control. She's not flopping around. Good CrossFitters do their pull-ups like this. So she's gonna tr turn that into, what did you call it? Um, a beat swing. A beat swing. Okay, <laughs> turn that. Sorry, question. Two followers on Twitch. Two followers on Twitch. That's three. Three. Gucci Tiger. Gucci Tiger. Uh, Contras. Contras. And Hugo Jim. Hugo Jim. Good work. I think for us to do the Q&A, we're going to need at least five more follows on Twitch. Five more follows on Twitch to do the Q&A, guys. So get, get, the, get them coming. Come on. <laughs> I want to answer some, some questions. It'll be fun. Um, 
Adrian asks, how do you recover from hard workouts? Eat food, bro, <laughs> and sleep. Um, Diana, I have really small shoulders, which then makes my lower half look bigger. What would be the best shoulder exercises to do? It's a great question. Um, all of them, really. Um, shoulder presses, um, lat raises, those, the face pulls for your rear delts. Um, again, if you're not training for your shoulders, three. Taste Good job, like Twitch. Paint. Taste what? Tastes like paint. Tastes like paint. Flex. Uh, manual. Manuel. Manuel. Flex. Uh, face is 21. Face is 21. Flex. Two more. Two, two more on Twitch, and then we'll do a Q and A. Um. Sorry, Andrew. What does that work out? Oh, so the the kip, her swing, does not work out a particular muscle group. This is a CrossFit-ish movement. That, well, that is a pure gymnastics movement that CrossFit has adapted to make CrossFit pull-ups so you can do more in a certain amount of time. Um, and Diane, sorry, back to you with your shoulders. Program shoulders into your routine. Do very, do just do shoulders, and if you want to make them grow, a lot of women do them twice a week. Go heavier weights. Go heavier weights. Eat food. They'll grow. Okay, um, the movement I was just doing, Andrew, yes, we were doing the, the kip. It doesn't work a specific movement or just a specific muscle group. This is just purely to talk about the CrossFit pull-up, which everybody hates, which is why I'm addressing it. Okay, Kelsey, yes. jump up there and show me a kipping pull-up. Good job. You gotta follow from Actify. Actify, thank you for following. So, that was a kipping pull-up. Ooh. Um, All right, so, uh, actually, so we got it. Couple. We got Bright Blue 90. Bright Blue 90. French fries yum. French fries yum. Yum. Boom. French fries are yum. <laughs> Boom, delicious. Even better. Alright. Okay. okay. Um, her body was in control the entire time. She pulled, pu pulled herself up and pushed herself away through. There's nothing about that that's inherently dangerous or bad if you have the strength to do a real pull up and you have the control to keep yourself well. Um, this pull-up really, there's no reason for you to do it outside of a CrossFit workout or competition because it's not going to build muscle, it's not going to necessarily build strength. It's going to get you good at doing that movement pattern, which is important if you're trying to be a good CrossFitter. Butterfly pull-ups are, again, what everybody hates, looks like this. The reason you do that is the exact same thing. I'm trying to get as many pull-ups as I can in a certain amount of time. Takes less energy than doing a full strict pull-up and it's faster and that's why it's done. I don't do these in the gym when I'm just trying to like get better at regular pull-ups. This is not a strength movement. Kipping pull-ups is not a strength movement. It's a movement pattern movement that make you better, faster crossfitter for a crossfit specific reason. <laughs> questions about those things no that's crazy people are laughing and crying <laughs> at the crossfit um okay should we start our, our q a we have one, more from one more follow from twitch evil asian evil asian asian right. asian all right so we'll do the speed round so okay they have to be quick, like one word questions. And we'll got it. Christine says, I think I'm going to try to do a pull up now. Do it, girl. You got it. <laughs> you got it. That's awesome. Okay. Right, so, starting now. Oh. We're going to play a game. If you guys didn't catch it, we're going to do our, our, speed, our lightning round QA. Ask us questions. We're going to answer in one answer or one word or less. Not less than one word. <laughs> one word <laughs> as best we can. Um, try to keep it PG 13, please. Yes. We'll, just skip, we'll skip them if they're not, if they're too trolly. Um, uh, we welcome like CrossFit troll questions, or that would be funny. Whatever you guys want to do. I'm 19, have lost 15 kilograms since January, but I'm starting to plateau. Any tips? Lost 15 pounds since January, starting to plateau. Uh, sounds like you need a program or diet change. Um, switch it up. Switch it up. How to get biceps. How to get biceps, biceps curls. What you working on? What you working on? I'm working on my endurance actually is Kelsey. terrible. Kelsey. Trail running. Trail running. Hey, look at endurance too. How you can, can I, oh, go, ahead. go. How can I do a front lever? <sighs> Dude, oh, 
you let me know. You work on it. Um, the front lever, lever is awesome. Um, that's again going to be working on that pulling, pushing. Sorry, this is not a speed round. Good luck on that front lever. Push down. Lats push down. That'll help. How long does it take to get your body spinning? Years. I would say. I did gymnastics. She's always been life. like this. She's looked like this her whole life because she did <laughs> gymnastics. Uh, I was a collegiate soccer player, but I didn't like grow muscles until I, until I started like lifting mm -hmm. and um, eating right. Mm -hmm. Protein helps. Who would win in our wrestling? Maybe. <laughs> I just because I weigh more. Because I'm like 40 pounds heavier than her, so How if I lost, it would be pathetic. How much is your squat? I squat about, my squat's pathetic, my squat is like 275. Um, I was nursing a hip flexor injury, but uh, I can't remember. I think it was like 200? 200, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, my squat's not, not great. Best biceps workout. Go on bodybuilding.com and find Colin Von Moger. I was gonna say, our, there you go. Colin Von Moger's old school arm workout. There you go. Uh, Okay. <laughs> what is your Instagram? Mine is cassie.a.smith. And I'm K Sido. K Sido. K S I D D O. No W? No. Just O. Yeah. Yep. Do you ever want to punch each other? <laughs> no. Not recently. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Does that happen to you a lot? Do you want to punch <laughs> punch your friends? How much a bench? My bench is also oh. pathetic. I can bench about 160. Yeah, I think I've done like 147 or something. Yeah, like that. oh, that's good. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not a power lifter. It's not. Yeah. I'm just not good at it. Benches. How much you bench, yeah. bro? Uh, Gymshark. Are you a fan? I don't actually own any Gymshark, but What's people that? like it. What is like it? Clothing. Oh. Clothing brand Gymshark. I'm sure it's fine. Unaware. Unaware. <laughs> not aware. Uh, <laughs> starting to roll with the best exercise for back mass. <laughs> Pull ups. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get big? Uh, uh, Instagram Frigolius. <laughs> Instagram what? Uh, at Frigolius. Frigolius. Um, I don't know. Rows, lat pull downs, heavy, heavy stuff is gonna help your muscles get bigger. Uh, would you rather fight a horse sized duck or a, a duck sized horse? Horse sized duck. Duck sized horse. Yeah, for sure. definitely. Definitely. You could just kick. Yeah. Right? <laughs> What do you mean, though, to kick a baby horse? What's the last video game you played? Oof, uh, I would say... Um, Mortal Kombat? What's the, what's the really popular gun one? Halo? Halo? Call of Duty? Call of Duty. Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's your favorite Mortal Kombat character? Because we were thinking of, this is for you guys, if you were going to do a workout, who's, which Mortal Kombat character's workout would you like to see? Or what do, you, who, who do you think Cassie's favorite? Who, Kombat who is my favorite Mortal Kombat character? Kelsey, do you and know Kelsey's. Do you know what Mortal Kombat is? Um, I've heard of it. I don't know what it is. Okay. <laughs> but sure, choose a character for me. Liz, get to the pull up already. Too much talking, not enough action. We You're late, <laughs> sis. Um, watch the we'll go back to the beginning and keep watching. We got it all there. Sorry. <laughs> um, and then Johnny Cage. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Adrian, how do you not get burnt out and how do you deal with gym criticism? Hmm. That's a really good question. Not getting burnt out. That's find something you really like to do and switch it up. Like if you hate going to the gym and doing bodybuilding, like do something else. Mm -hmm. um, it, again, with your goal, what is your goal for fitness? Is it for like lifelong health and like longevity and fitness? Then that doesn't mean that you have to get huge bra. Um, I say do all the things. Do all the things. Like, yeah. why not? Go mountain biking. Go trail running. Go try kickboxing. Do try jujitsu, yeah. yoga. Like, do CrossFit. All right, so we got, so we got a couple of characters. So, okay. Jax, Scorpion, Sub Zero, Sonia, Jax. Sonia. I got to pick the girl, yeah. Right? <laughs> uh, Sub Zero is cool, too. I think he has the best finishers. Even though I can never quite figure out how to do the finishers. What the, what the thing was. Um, hold on, one other question. Deal with gym criticism. I don't know that what that, that's what you, like if people are mean to you at the gym, that's effed up. And 
like there's no reason to feel but like people suck like whatever they can say whatever they want to if you're in there doing what you want to do you're making progress you're Focus doing you me. yeah who cares what those jerks say they want to know can you say scorpion's catchphrase in finish your most, him in your most scorpion oh what does he phrase? say get over here <laughs> Is that what you say? I have no idea what that just, is. Just say get over here. Just say get over here in a real deep voice. Get over here. Here, say, say it into my microphone. Get over here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is, right, yes. Right, okay. And just you got a, a winner. Nope. Uh, what do you do to kickstart a clean diet? Man, girl, do that prep. TDEE calculator. Figure out your macros. Prep. Question. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry, I'm just pointing. <laughs> Andrew, can we work out together? Sure. Come on. Come on down to bodybuilding.com headquarters. We can work out as long as you want to do CrossFit. <laughs> and you're not a stalker. And you're not a stalker. <laughs> Please don't be a creepy stalker. I'm married. I have a baby. <laughs> I'm just a mom. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> On that note. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Thanks for Bye. hanging out. Good luck with your pull-ups. Uh, uh, are we done? Uh, oh, no. We're still going to talk. We're still talking. Dancing. Uh, hold on. We got a couple followers real quick. Uh, oh, follower. Is it Lynn? Woo. Is it Lynn? Uh, Shala Shaska. Shala Woo. Shaska. Nerd Dictator 789. Nerd Woo. Dictator 789. Thanks for following us, guys. Right, See ya. Bye. Thanks for watching. Being fit feels amazing. 